I'm David Wenham. Here on Hot Probe, we're going to be having a look at a subject that's special to all of us. That subject is energy. A long time ago, the universe didn't exist. But then suddenly, bam, there it was. How did it happen? We're not sure, but there are a couple of theories. Religious types will tell you that God made it. However, we scientists know that there was an enormous explosion. And in that explosion, suddenly, all the universe's energy sprang into existence. Everything, all different kinds. And we're going to be looking at a couple of different kinds today. <laughs> okay, there are lots of different kinds of energy, but we're looking at potential and kinetic. In the show, you see the object go red, that be an example of potential energy. Or if the object goes green, that's going to be kinetic energy. Right, if you do see it go red, I want you to yell out potential. Or a verse. if you see it go green, you to yell out kinetic. Do you think you can do that? example of potential energy common household battery battery is filled and packed with a whole bunch of electrical chemical charge oh yeah but this electrical charge isn't going anywhere, man wow until I stick it into my incredible ghetto blaster And then when we turn it off, there's a release, a incredible, incredible subwoofer explosion. So let's go now to a place that has potential energy. Okay, so here we are at the car park, and you'd be surprised just how science is going on right here. Potential energy is energy that exists when it has a position in a force field. The most common example of this is the Earth's gravitational field, where in this case, PE, potential energy, equals M multiplied by G multiplied by H, where H equals height. Not much. Not much potential energy.
Now we've increased the H. potential energy. Now, we're going to use some animals to represent kinetic energy. Can you imagine animals? How was that? Now, did your animals look like this? Yeah. 